Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. I've got an exciting one to share with you today. It's the PreSonus Studio Live Series 3 mixer along with the entire ecosystem they've created around it. Now this includes the digital stage boxes, the personal monitor ear mix stations, AVB network switches, I've got one right down here, and the new network cable they've designed here, 150 foot long network cable designed for stage and uh, live event use. We'll also be taking a look at Studio One for the digital audio workstation software that PreSonus has recently uh, released, along with the deep catalog of plugins that are available for this entire platform. As a small YouTube channel, it's really tricky to coordinate getting all of this kind of stuff together in one place at one time for a demo. So big thanks to PreSonus for sending all of this out at once so we could make the most out of getting to know how the system actually works as a whole. Uh, just so there's no confusion, this is not a paid review. While this gear has been sent over for demo, it's all going to go back when I'm done with it in a couple of months unless I decide to purchase it with my own money. So this video is going to be a quick overlook and introduction to the system as a whole. I'm just getting familiar with it myself and in the coming months I'll be testing and working with all of these components to bring you in-depth videos of each piece. I've been asking for your questions already on social media and I've had some great ones come in uh, but please leave any questions, comments, concerns, or things you'd like me to ask PreSonus directly uh, down in the comments below and I'll do my best to get you an answer in upcoming videos. My favorite videos to make are the ones where I've had your help in crowdsourcing the questions and the things to cover, so please do send them over uh, on any platform you follow me on uh, at DC Sound Up on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. So what's the big deal here and why am I excited to look at this mixer? As corporate uh, Kool-Aid as it might sound, I'm genuinely interested in this whole ecosystem. If you ask most engineers uh, what console they would choose to own, you'll probably get a list of very nice desks, all of which are amazing to work on. And I personally love to work on Digico consoles, Yamaha consoles, and there really isn't a whole lot that I can think of that I wouldn't feel comfortable covering with like a Yamaha CL or QL series console and a Dante Rio package. That being said though, I can't personally justify owning or maintaining those systems myself. As I'm sure is the case for many of you watching this, one day you might need to be mixing a live band and you might just need a mixer for that. And then the next day you could be doing a multi-track recording. You could be mixing down a project or a podcast or a webcast, or you could be doing a corporate conference or any other number of audio related related tasks. Currently, I handle those tasks with a whole bunch of different unrelated tools that I've grown to trust over the years. I'm sure everybody has a different list, but for the longest time I carried a Yamaha O1V96 V2 as my mixer in a Pelican case, and that served me very well in like live and location broadcast work. I use Mark of the Unicorn interfaces for getting audio in and out of computers and software, and then I've used a whole bunch of different software and plugins over the years to accomplish uh, various editing, mixing, and producing tasks. I currently use Reaper, but I also own Logic Pro X and a few others just for compatibility's sake with musicians that I work with regularly. The idea of having one system that could potentially handle all of these different tasks for me is kind of huge. Don't get me wrong though, I am not suggesting that this would replace things like a Yamaha CL console and a Dante Rio setup or a fully loaded Pro Tools HD rig for certain professional settings, definitely not. But on those jobs and for those tasks where you need uh, to use your personal gear to either meet the budget or just get the job, this could be really interesting. So to start with the fundamentals of this system, we've got the mixing console. If you remember my video about the Studio Live 16R rack mixer recently, this console is going to be very, very familiar indeed. It's the physical version of that in a console form, and they're completely compatible with one another, and they can actually be used in tandem to build out bigger setups. The mixer itself looks to be really, really nicely built. It's surprisingly thin and looks like it was very intentionally designed to be moved around easily. And I specifically chose the Studio Live 16 uh, version for this demo so I could take it out in those situations where I would have normally used an O1V96 and see exactly how it performs. It does, however, come in a 24 and 32 uh, fader chassis. So getting things connected, we've got the AVB protocol 
protocol network uh, to use. And that allows us to connect things like the stage boxes. I've got the NSB, the networked stage box eight by eight. And then I've got the 16 by eight uh, also to take a look at. And we will definitely be putting those out into the field and trying them out in coming weeks. And they both come just as you'd expect. There's a pair of network ports on each one, dedicated power input, power switch, high and low impedance uh, inputs, and then uh, XLR balanced outputs there. So we'll definitely get into those more in the future. To connect those, I've got two of the 150 foot PreSonus network cables, and we'll be putting those up against other stage and tactical designed uh, network cables. I've got some from Rat Sound Tools, I've got Duracat, and we've got some coming from Elite Core, and we're going to give those all kind of a real world test uh, in their own video to see how they hold up. Now, I'll be doing a whole other video on the differences between Dante and AVB networks in much more detail. But one of the bigger points to remember is that while Dante comes with licensing fees that we all know about and uses off the shelf uh, network switch gear, AVB on the other hand is open source. There's no licensing fees, but it does require specific hardware to use. To that end, we have the PreSonus five port AVB switch here, and we'll be keeping an eye on it to see how it performs compared to my uh, D-Link and TP-Link and then the other Cisco uh, routers that we typically use for Dante networks. We'll be using this switch to connect the mixer uh, to the stage boxes. Right now I've got it to the stage box, uh, one of these ear mix stations, and we'll also be using it to connect directly to a laptop to source audio from the AVB network for recording, and that's going to be really neat to try out. Having this switch that uh, PreSonus supplies, the SW5E Supply Power Over Ethernet, or POE, to things like these ear mix stations makes it really uh, nice for a studio or for a live stage uh, situation where you can have one of these running simply on a network cable, no additional power required there. So that's a nice thought. Now we also have the ability obviously to connect that AVB line uh, to a computer and use the system as our interface in that manner to record, broadcast, or stream audio without any additional equipment. It's literally just getting that Cat5 cable connected into your computer and you're good to go there. In addition to that, the mixer allows onboard multi-track recording uh, through the SD card recorder, which is very cool. We'll be testing that. I'm sure that'll be a popular feature. You can connect via USB to your computer and use this as an interface like any other audio interface. Very cool. Or like we said, we can use that AVB connection on the network uh, to source audio from anywhere on the network to our recording software. Now, pairing this system with the Studio One 4 software not only allows you to multi-track record from this, uh, but to seamlessly use this console as a control surface for the digital audio workstation. And that gives you complete compatibility between the mix you make on the console uh, in a live setting, for example, or when you're tracking, and the project file that you open and load in the digital audio workstation and then later work from uh, when you're mixing down or editing. And I know this sounds a little confusing, maybe out of context, but it's got potential to be incredibly powerful and efficient, and we'll be putting it through its paces here in the coming weeks to see just how practical it is. So I think that's probably a good uh, first look at this system. Get your questions to me in the comments below. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification button if you want to follow along with the rest of the series. We're gonna have a whole bunch of videos coming out on each one of these pieces. I will definitely do my best to get to all of your questions. Thanks to everyone who watches regularly and supports the channel by using the affiliate links down below, directly supporting through Patreon and visiting the website at dcsoundop.com every day. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with more in this series very, very soon. The audio you are hearing on this video right now is through the Studio Live 16, and I'm just recording directly into a Sony A6500. So if it sounds iffy, it's most likely the uh, audio inputs on the A6500. The Studio Live sounds absolutely pristine, and I've been testing back and forth with headphones and that monitor speaker. This thing is absolutely dead quiet. If you sent me a comment saying the mic pre's in this video don't sound good, uh, as I get to know this system more, we will record with it every possible way way using software using hardware and you'll get to hear examples of all of that thanks for watching i'll see you next time